In this lesson, we will see one interesting feature. As you know by now, you can manually sculpt pretty much anything as long as you're willing to put the time into it. But you can also let ZBrush procedurally apply sculpting effects to an entire model. Clay polish is one new such feature, and it's kind of like it's not new, but you know, as in this uh, whole uh, series uh, of the tutorial, it's something new that we are bringing up now. It's a uh, it's been used a couple of times, so it's kind of like using smart blur or sharpened filters in Photoshop. But here we are doing the same thing but in 3D. So let's take a look. So I have here fairly detailed object of a skull. And if I want to apply something over it, like making it a little bit, you know, some part here, a hard surface, some part here, organic. So I have to manually do which will take a lot of time here. So let's go in the geometry and we have here option called clay polish. Now in the clay polish without changing of any uh, any of these settings if you will see that. Uh, if we click on the clay polish, so you might notice subtle smoothing or smooth area. So if I will click here, so you can see there is some smoothness over here. Now if I will keep on clicking here, so you can see that it is kind of becoming something you know it's showing me uh, these kind of thing and there is a mask over here as well so if i will press control and drag over here so the mask will be gone and you can see how the result is just like you do the smart blur inside of photoshop but here you are doing that in uh, 3d so it's basically like increasing the three dimensional contrast of the model if we click this a few more time as you have seen it will keep on giving me more and more uh, option it will start building up it, uh, like building up more and more now what's also happening is that as you see is whenever i click over here it will start creating the mask so just like what i did before i will just press control and drag over here so that mask will be gone so this is what is happening inside the clay polish so to compare this before and after we can just slide through over here and you can see how it was before and how it's after before and after and you can see there is a mask here which we removed later on but as to, to compare you can see how it was before and how it is after so you can kind of see this is creating an interesting effect where it looks like a bit more sculptural made out of fresh clay or maybe a little bit more design now let's go ahead and set this back to where it was in the beginning so i will undo this something over here now once we are here we can play around with these settings a little bit more like suppose if i want to repeat uh, sharpness because uh, I usually don't change it a lot, but uh, for sake of this tutorial, let's do some changes. Let me uh, randomly change all this. I will increase the repeat sharpness a little bit more, uh, the regular sharpness also, softness a bit, and repeat softness a bit also, uh, minimum, maximum, okay, edge maybe. Oops, where it's gone maybe surface a little bit maybe and then let's see what happens so if I will uh, click over here you can see the result is quite different here now if I will undo and move these values and change this value maybe I will move the sharpness completely at 100 level and make the minimum back to zero and let's see what happens so you can see there is more sharpness over here so now as we know uh, let me press control and drag here sharpness brings some sharpness here now this kind of look like that blocky stylized sort of thing so nice effect over here if you want to do now if i will undo that and bring the sharpness down and bring the repeat sharpness and then uh, like all the way up then clay polish so you will see something like this 
but I found the sharpness to be more helpful here. Let me uh, crank this down back to where it was uh, the sharpness, uh, the repeat sharpness, and let's try to bring the softness all the way up. And then I will clay polish it, and you can see it is becoming more soft. So this is how you can get some results here by just adjusting these values. So sharpness all the way up, edge maybe it will affect on the edge, and this is maybe is of the surface. Surface is something that is not the edge. Okay. So I will press clay polish here. So you can see the edges are now more affected because I cranked up edge quite high. So I will reduce the edge to, to a little bit value, like maybe 12. And surface I will increase, crank it up more, and then let's see what it is. So it will something look like this. So you have these kind of effects going on all the way, and this is how you're getting some these sort of results over here. So let me press Control and drag it over here. So you see, this effect it creates is kind of interesting, and it might take a lot of work to just manually go through and sharpen all those edges that you can see over here and smooth out these details that you see here. And for this kind of result, if I will do something manually, it will take a lot of time. So this can really save you a lot of time if this is the look you're going for. So guys, if you have enjoyed my video, please click on the like button and I will be uploading new lessons, tutorials, live sessions and full courses along with other useful videos. So don't forget to click on the bell icon so you can get all the notifications. I will highly appreciate if you will give shout out to my channel on your social media account, which will help me to get more subscriber and this will motivate me to create more content for you. So guys, thanks a lot for your support and please continue supporting me and take care of yourself till we meet for the next lesson. Thank you.